Hello everyone, my name is Brian Reyes, and this is another Daily Devotional. Now today we're going to be reading August 28th. The title for today is No Holds Barred. The Bible verse of the day is in 1 John chapter 5, verses 18-19. through 19. We know that God's children do not make a practice of sinning, for God's Son holds them securely, and the evil one cannot touch them. We know that we are children of God and that the world around us is under the control of the evil one. No holds bar fighting, also known as mixed martial arts or ultimate fighting, means that pretty much everything goes. It's been compared to gladiator fights because of how violent it is. People have called the fighting brutal and inhumane. The organizers themselves called it the bloodiest, most barbaric show in history. But even in this type of fighting, there are a few rules. No gouging someone's eyes, for instance, which means that the most barbaric show in history is tamer than the spiritual battles we face every day as Christians. Because there are no rules in that fight. Satan can use every means available to him to attack us. He's called calculating, and endlessly patient. He will wait for the moment we're at our weakest and most vulnerable to pounce on us. So Satan can attack whenever he wants. He can wait for that moment when you're weak to attack you. Did you fail your math test today? Were your parents fighting this morning before you left the house? Do you have a cold? Did you break your ankle in gym class? Take too many classes and are now buried under heaps of homework? Join one too many after school activities? Go to bed late? Get up early? Have no time for devotions? Fail to crack open your Bible except when you're in Sabbath school? That's perfect for Satan. That's when he'll strike. Not when you're reading your Sabbath school lesson every day, participating in class, digging into your Bible, going to prayer meeting, and talking with God. He won't come after you when you're strong. He'll wait until you slip up and relax your grip on God before he tries to take you down. You're on Satan's hit list in the most vicious and most important fight in history. Fortunately, as long as God is our coach and we stay in our corner with him, Satan can't touch us. He can try, but unless we walk away from God and climb into the ring with him, Satan can only shout insults from his corner. Yeah, he can make us mad. Yeah, he can be really annoying. But he can't win the fight if we stay with God. Because God already won the championship round. We've got nothing to prove except that we support our champion. So as long as we stay with God, Satan cannot touch us. Sure, he'll try to tempt you one way or another. But if you stay with God, if you listen to him, if you read his word every day, Satan can't touch you. So turn away from Satan and join God's team today. This has been another Daily Devotional. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.